I'm not actually going to the library today. I'm going to teach you guys how to lock your bike if you're out and about. It is another pretty afternoon in Seattle. And I want to show you guys this very quick video on how I lock my bike. As you guys know, I got my bike stolen recently um, out of my bike room in the apartment complex that I live at. So I don't leave it for very long. Here's the kryptonite lock that I use. I got it at REI. I will post a picture at the end of the video of all the products that I use. You'll see a picture in the website that I got it on. I kind of just went downtown and bought this at REI off of Yale. I have two, one for each bike. If I ever decide to take the bike on a hike, I will bring two kryptonite locks. That's the plan, is to take the bike on a hike one day. And I hear so many horror stories. I am also still wondering if there's any insurance for these bikes. Any insurance that I can count on that will be there for me. So the next thing I'm about to show you is actually pretty controversial. It is the alarm that I mounted on my bike. Not going to show you exactly where I mounted it on my bike, but I will let you know that it is a motion sensor alarm. You can get it from Amazon. The picture is at um, the end of my video, so you can see what it looks like. Very loud when you're like near your home or near a quieter area than right next to a busy Seattle road. But if you're right next to a busy Seattle road, might not be the best help. Do I take my battery inside when I go shopping at the grocery store? No, I just lock it to my bike. I also don't keep my bike outside at night. i 
Just another day to be with ya With ya Baby, there's no plan for the wicked Darker are the days for the bitter ones Baby, I'm just happy to be with ya